Good morning, y'all. We have a busy day today. Well, we have a busy morning. <clears throat> I need to go through and get my car car wash. I need to go through and do a couple things. Um, so, just got out of the shower. We're going to take our things. I need to put the rain guards on my car because those came in the mail. Y'all fair has a bigger one. It's okay, Idaho. We understand. This is such a cool view. Yeah. I just like the fact that it's you know it's open and you can just go up there. Look how gorgeous it is. My sister did a little laundry while she was watching the animals, so I gotta put all that away, fold that, put that away, because some of that stuff I think is hers from when she was here. But like she cleaned my and house like house. she said she wanted to be a surprise for me, because you know I go to school full time and I work full time and I'm taking care of this house on my own, and I have a bunch of stuff I need to put away for my trip. But there's a couple things I want to take care of outside the house first, so that when I come back to the house. Um, I can just get all the house stuff because I gotta get food for work. I gotta just, uh, I got a lot to do. And then I can settle down and then I can make this, the food that I want to make for work. Whoop. I need to get this, the rest of the stuff out of my car. Just, <clears throat> it's gonna be a day. Um, the cooking portion of it, I'm probably not going to show you, obviously, and then the folding of the clothes because it's gonna be boring. I'm just gonna watch YouTube while folding all that stuff. And yeah, so. <sighs> y'all ready for this um i hope you enjoyed well you know what i'll put the clips of idaho after this introduction so you can see how my weekend in idaho was it was amazing um i initially thought maybe i'll do it as like a separate um but I know like my vlog length vary to vary. Usually I try to keep it about you know like a 30 40 minute vlog every week so <clears throat> we'll see Maybe I'll put the Idaho clips after this. Maybe I'll make it a separate vlog. I'm not sure. I haven't put those files together yet, so we'll see how much it is. Yeah. Woo! Let's go! You see these shoes? 
My boyfriend got a slam and deal on these shoes. We went to the outlet. He spent 20 bucks on them because the shoes were mismarked and <clears throat> it was 60% off and additional 30 on clearance. These were in the clearance section. They were mismarked and we had to get them. She had to honor it. And so $20.39 for these shoes. He was buttering me up because we had gotten to a small fight on the way home. We just had me going by an outlet mall. Oh, I still got some of my face. Stuff. So we got a huge list of things to do. Ugh, you know, I put lotion on and it doesn't feel like it. That's ridiculous. Um, we definitely need to get the car washed. For sure. And <clears throat> I need to go through and clean out the car because the car is still a little bit messy. And, um, actually, I wish I still had the Idaho one. You know what? I'm going to save this. I know it's silly, but this is a parking pass thing from Portland for on the way to Idaho. And I think I still have the Idaho one. I'm going to save it. I'm going to try to find it and save it. But I still have a few things rolling around in my car because I got home at like midnight last night. And so I pulled everything out of there because I didn't park in the garage. I pulled everything out of my car and put it in the house. But now I need to go through everything. And I'll probably wait for some of the stuff till tomorrow when the boyfriend's home um, to help me because uh, collect up my sister's stuff and put it in a pile for my dad to take back with him because my dad's coming over this week. Um, and I have to get the kiddo from gymnastics tonight. And then I'm gonna have her this week, and then I'm not gonna have her for two weeks because got into a little bit of a uh, of a fight with her dad. But we're gonna swap weeks because it'd be unfair that I get it three weeks in a row. Blah 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 blah. Whatever. Okay, whatever. Uh, just whatever. Um. But yeah, like she did. She did multiple loads of laundry. So I need to go through and fold because she left it in the dryer. Because um, some of the stuff is hers, some of the stuff is mine. Because I figured she was going to use my washer and dryer while she was there. She was there for two and a half days. I assumed she was going to use it. Um, and got to get food. Because uh, I need to go grocery shopping. <clears throat> Put some food in the house. Um, boyfriend's going to make dinner tomorrow with the kiddo because I... Um, have physical therapy right after work so I asked him to please make dinner um, and after eating out all weekend a home cooked meal would be nice plus we generally go out um, we generally go out when it's just us two because I'm usually exhausted and you know when my, my kiddo's there my dad is there and so like I cook for them and, and him and stuff but like I know that he does not it, you know the boyfriend's like you know you, I know you're tired from work but you still need to make me dinner um, he, he doesn't do that and I'm such a picky eater that he doesn't generally like cooking um, because I'm a horribly picky eater horribly picky eater and probably should have waited to shower until after I got my hair cut Oh well, too late. Getting it done. Um, and <clears throat> I am. Um, I'm. I'm. I'm getting better. Like there, we. We didn't go to the same restaurant once when we were in Idaho or when we we're in Oregon. You know. Uh, we did, you know, the only thing we went to multiple times was which Dutch Brothers, because she, lo he, she he loves Dutch Brothers. And then we went to one different coffee shop, Tim Hammers, Timothy Hammers. So, um, that was the only different thing that we did as far as coffee, because he really enjoys Dutch Brothers. Um, let me turn that down and turn that off. Um, because he wanted me to... You know enjoy the, all the different foods that he did um, and that was cool 
and it was my first real weekend away. I, you know, the only other weekend away I went was a couple years ago. I went a trip to Great Wolf Lodge, and I, I think I talked about this last week. Um, and we went for a day and a half. But this has technically been my first real vacation, and it's the first trip I went away with a boyfriend. And so this this meant a lot to me. And we decided that we want to do more. Um, you know, more often um, take time for just each other and go away for the weekend. And I'm I'm all down for that. I'm I'm down. Um, <clears throat> and you know, we don't have to go all the way to Idaho. We could. We don't have to. We can do like weekends in Portland or weekends in Seattle. Um, weekends in Leavenworth. Just so we're we're gonna try to do more for us because it is good for us. And I'm excited. So I have an older phone holder for the car, but I don't think it's stable enough. I think I tried it once before and I wasn't a huge fan of it. I think I'm not a huge fan of it now. Um, while you do get a better view of me, it's a little too wobbly. Anyway, so my dad looked at, <clears throat> my dad came to pick up the kiddo last night and he looked at um, the bumper and he thinks he can buff some of the scratches out, which, okay, cool, if he can. Um, I posted on my Facebook, new do, new do who dis, just cause. And some of, the, some of the layers are so short in the back, but that's how you get some of the volume is by having those really short layers, cause some layers, like that's it, like that's it. Alex wants me to re-dye my hair. She thinks that, you know, it's a little unpurple and I need it to be a little bit more purple. Um, she's like, I'm so sad. Your hair is not super purple right now, mommy. So I'm going to have to remedy that. Um, see, every little bump, every little jiggle, y'all are seeing it all. And I'm not talking about my belly. Um, when I get, when I lose some more weight, this haircut will look even more fabulous. Like, I, um, I love this haircut. I love it. Okay. It's one of my favorites. Is this person going to come in front of me? Should I, I don't know they're just going to stay behind me. I'm like only doing 50 miles an hour because it's raining and. My license plates are finally in for my vehicle. I sent a text message to the boyfriend. Like, hey, do you think they'll let you pick them up? Can you bring them with you? Um, because when I got home yesterday, after the whole ordeal with my license plate and my bumper, I really didn't want to go driving anywhere else. <coughs> Excuse me. And, you know, I was just a little upset over my bumper being screwed up. And... Um, It's, it's just very frustrating. You know what I mean? It's just super frustrating. And then I found a nail salon in the mall that has a kid chair, which my kiddo has been begging me. And I think it's that one that she saw the bear chair in. And she's wanted to get a pedicure ever since. So the boyfriend and I were going to do pedicures while we were away in Idaho. But when we are coming back on Sunday, there just wasn't options. So, um, we, see, that's what I'm talking about. I start doing 60 miles an hour. Ooh, the little chapstick on. See, that's, that's, see, if I hold it, it's not that bad. But I don't want to sit here and hold it the whole time. Um, I'm going to have to figure something out. I'm going to have to figure, because I like the higher view. I need a better holder. But um, maybe if I got a short one. 
so she's been begging and we were gonna do pedicures on the way home but on Sunday in Portland and Oregon there they really there weren't really open options so he was like what if we wait and we take the kiddo and I was like oh my gosh you love that so much um, he goes well let's find one with the kid chair and let's take her which we're gonna take her so she's gonna be so thrilled and yesterday I had to leave gymnastics early my stomach was like no you need to go like right away before we have a problem let's see and so I had to leave early and she was really bummed I said it was only 20 minutes I'm like I'm really really sorry baby girl my stomach it's not doing good mommy's gotta go are you mad at mommy are you upset are you sad she goes well I'm a little sad I said don't worry mommy got a surprise for you tomorrow and it may include a little chair so like <clears throat> I know in her mind she's thinking oh my gosh did mommy finally find a, a pedicure chair that I could fit in going to get a pedicure with mommy oh yeah and that is so happening okay so after dinner today because the boyfriend's gonna cook dinner because I have massage I have massage I have physical therapy right after work um, he's gonna cook dinner so we're gonna go have dinner and then we're gonna pile into the car and if the boyfriend didn't grab the license plates from if they won't let him get my license plate then at the dealership um, then we'll swing by get my license plates head on over to the mall get some pedicures it's gonna be a good day it's gonna be a good day
and going to bring my niece and my nephew uh, because my nephew has an orthodontist appointment and then the kids are all coming to my house for summer party this weekend. So she's going to get her off the bus for me so that I don't have to take time off. Because um, I will not make it home in time. And then the kids have already expressed how they want to go play some Pokemon Go. So we'll take them out playing Pokemon Go for a little bit. And then we'll go home. And <clears throat> I need to go and get a present for my daughter's classmate. And depending on what time we get done tomorrow, we'll either do it tomorrow night or we'll do it tomorrow if it's, or, or Saturday before the party because it's a bowling party. And that's why my nephew wants to come down is because he wants to go bowling and my niece is excited to go bowling with my daughter and her classmates and I'm going to pay for my nephew separately. Um, and that way my nephew can bowl. I cannot bowl because I bowl with my right arm and that is my injured arm. So that's not happening. But I am empowered. I am gorgeous. If I just get rid of this double chin, I'll be even more happy. But I'm feeling real good. I'm doing I'm back up to doing five to six miles a day walking at work. Um eating eating regularly sometimes eating a little bit more than i am comfortable eating but that all oh that was a little close but you know that's to be expected because i'm i'm so used to <clears throat> allowing myself to starve myself pretty much but I, I, I allow myself to limit my intake but like the last two days i've been like real real hungry I've been real hungry the last few days. I did make an appointment <clears throat> at the Puyallup Best Buy to get the stuff installed in my car since my Best Buy cannot do it. It's really short back there, but and I'm not going to get it done at Tacoma. <clears throat> Mm, I'm flummy today because we went to Tacoma to see if I can get an SE even that looks cute even I look cute like that um to see about getting it done there and they were just so rude to me that I refused to get my car taken care of there just I flat out refuse um and so and I went back to my Best Buy to talk to them about it and they're like well the next place we can get you scheduled for is Piala I said okay they're like, you sure? That's kind of a drive. I said, I got family in Graham. It's fine. So not this Saturday, but next Saturday, I will be going up there to get my car taken care of. And the boyfriend was going to go with me, but he has an event with his um, CAP group that's actually, they're actually, actually going to Oregon. Mm. And he told me about it. And we had that conversation. Cause he knew how mad I got with him when he left the state without telling me before and it's like you know I explained to him it's, it's not about tracking your whereabouts okay it's not about you know having a pinpoint little GPS about whatever it's about my sanity of your safety and it is taking him like I think finally I think fi we've been together two years two and a half years just about I, I think finally it is sinking in that I'm not emasculating him or treating him like a child because I want him to tell me when he goes out of state. It's my sanity for his safety. Plus, plus, that's what you do when you're in a relationship. If you leave, because, wasn't that a fire station? I don't know, fire station's behind it. Um, when you leave out of state for whatever reason and you're in a relationship with someone and that person that you're in a relationship with is important to you, you tell that person and it has taken him a long time to understand <clears throat> why it is important to tell your loved ones when you leave um because he never understood that he legit never understood why not telling me meant that I wasn't important to him 
and he's finally, I think, understood what it means to me to be informed of when he leaves the state. And like, and I told him, like, I don't need an itinerary of everything that you're doing. You know, who you're going with would be nice, but it's not a requirement. I trust him. You know, he's he's my he's my love. Um, I trust him. You know, he's a good man to me. I'm a good woman to him. And oh god, sorry, my watch is I apparently put it on too tight earlier today and it was hurting. Um but <clears throat> I don't need to know every second of his day. Every second, every minute. I don't I don't need to know that. I just need to know he's safe. I just need to know he's gonna come back to me in one piece. Um, I think I'm finally making progress with his thick headedness and that he understands that I love him. Is that my car? Oh well. Let's go to physical therapy, y'all. Then we got physical therapy. We got my volunteer group. I gotta get some food. Um, I'm gonna look when I go to, if I have plenty of time, I'm gonna go to um, Pilot and I'm gonna look because I know Pilot's gonna have phone things because mine is slipping because it's just, it's just not strong enough anymore so it's actually coming apart so I need a new phone holder for my car there's Minecraft So we're currently trying to get a gift for tomorrow's party. It's not going so well. So we just got home. I got this cool new computer table for when I'm like sitting in my bed or sitting on the couch. I gave my kiddo the one from Ikea. You don't need more of those energy drinks. So look how cool. And it's got the adjustable back. Target. 20 bucks. That was my crazy other nephew who seems to think he needs more energy drink. She's cleaning her room out. Oh, look at the arm fat. Arm fat. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. That's fat and skin. Extra skin. This glows in the dark. My zero. And it's fuzzy. I love Nightmare Before Christmas. I've got my daughter, my niece, and one of my nephews over. So I guess I technically should say one of my nieces, one of my nephews, and my daughter. First slumber party. We're going to go bowling tomorrow. Bowling! I can't bowl because I can't throw with my right arm. <clears throat> and I would look like a hot mess bowling with my left. <sighs> you guys... I'm not feeling better. I go to the doctor on Tuesday. We'll see what they say. Anyways, that's it for the week. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!